Hello guys, this is Kanbei Kuroda Samurai 7. And today I'm going to show you how to modify edit characters in Samurai Warriors Extreme Legends. There's a few things you're going to need for this game. One is a game shark code to have created warriors already pre-made. Luckily in the description I have all 15 of them for the NTSC version courtesy of fellow YouTuber also credited in the description since they can't pronounce Japanese properly. So you're going to need to have the game shark code made and injected into your game using a pinch file. Unfortunately, I'm not going to show you guys how to make a pinch file due to the fact there's already a lot of tutorials on how to do that. So, for starters, we're going to need a few things. One is Cheat Engine 7.1, and the other is PCX, PCSX2 1.6, which I currently have. And what you want to do is obviously boot fast, whatever. <coughs> Sorry. Um, once doing that, um, we're going to have our process open in PCSX. doesn't matter which one. It could be the emulator or the actual running emulator. It's, it reads the same process. Once you have that um, process logged into Cheat Engine, start doing your thing, like load your save file or start a new save or whatever you want to do. Um, I could 100% guarantee you guys that edits like this do not break the save file, it loads just fine. Alright, so we're going to click free mode and we're going to pick that. Now first things first is we're going to want to find the preview animation. Now why this you ask is because if you want to use a moveset like a sumo, a bombarder, wind ninja, or the generic generals, um, this will cause many issues with them such as stuff not loading properly, and the screen will just soft lock and crash the game if, and they won't load in. It's a weird bug that happens, but whatever. So, we're going to find Tadakatsu's, which he happens to be number 17. So let's do a bite search, search, find a lot of 17s. Let's try uh, Okuni, who's number 7. Next. And we're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now this is usually... Um, the preview animation. We're going to change that to 3. Okay, that changed the model. <laughs> we don't want Mitsu his model. We want his actual moveset to preview here. So, we're going to say menu screen model. Uh, this will not change the model in battle. It's just only on the menu screen. And, um... I'm going to assume the one above it I just picked is it. Let's say uh, Nobunaga for the preview animation. Yep. Okay, cool. So as you see, we now have Nobunaga's animation. Um, now we're going to head over to MT13. Yes, it shows the katana, but it'll sometimes do that. It will load this just fine if you move it too quick. Okay, so this is the animation. Remember to name that and save it after animation. Now what we're going to do is find this guy's name. His name is MT13, so we're going to do new scan. Instead of bite, you're going to change it to string. And we're going to look up his name, MT13. And we already found it. So, this will be his name. And we're going to change his name. Um, no, name, not name slash. We're going to change his name to uh, Su Zhu. Zushu, because why not? There he goes. No, that's a stupid name. Let's do a better name. Uh, how about Kevin? Kevin work. Right, Kev? <laughs> okay, so as you see, his name's now Kevin. Now, we're going to go browse memory. And you guys are probably wondering, oh, what the heck is this? This is insane. It, lo it looks insane. Well, you're going to change this to decimal. Instead of, it's going to default be by hex like this. You're going to say decimal. Yeah, change, you're going to be display type byte decimal. Or hit control 2 to change the byte decimal. Um, and as you see right here, this is the hex num like this is the hex value for each letter on the menu, which will make it load into the game. Now we're going to keep going until you see value 65, which is the model. So this is the model. 
And once you found the model, that's it. You found everything. Next to it, this is the weapon. This is the moveset. This is the voice. And this will be his weapon inventory value, which will be pretty much whatever. Just let's see, weapon inventory. I don't know if I spelled it right, whatever. Open inventory. Okay, and once we found this, we're gonna close this. Now we're gonna change the round. We're gonna change this model to, I think 30 is a captain, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Oh no, the alts. Um, I highly suggest none of you use these because there's weird bugs with them that will not load right. Like their color will glitch or whatever. Uh, let's try 42. Mm. Yeah, let's pick something better. Let me see, 39. I think. Oh, I see. Right. Okay, so let's make uh, 47. Oh my sweet god. Um, yeah, like something this will happen, but this is fine. Don't worry about it. So, um, it does this because it's not supposed to be here, and the textures mess up. So, does this model? We're gonna change his move set to. Forget. I think. Um, one thing I will tell you guys is luckily I'm generous enough to have values for um, Cheat Engine to help you find movesets. So as you see here, these are all the movesets. Um, let's pick... Cannoneer is kind of lame. Let's pick... Let's pick a uh, fire ninja is kind of lame too. You know, let's pick a sky ninja. So it'll be value forty-seven. So value forty-seven. Um, his move set, his model, um, his voice. We're gonna pick thirteen, which I don't know whose voice that is. We're gonna pick whoever, and then weapon inventory. Uh, I'll go with uh, let's sword because why not. All right, let's take Kevin the battle, and I'll show you guys the changes aren't just whatever, they actually work. And what's also great about this is once you found it, um, it actually works in-game, like it'll stay like this permanently. Yeah, see, as you see, I am now a Sky Ninja moveset. With uh, Lady Knows moveset. <laughs> what's cool about these is some of these have really cool commands, like when you push R3, um, oh, this one doesn't do it, but when you push R3, usually they trigger another attack or skill. Like, this one triggers that. Triggers this. Push a triangle repeatedly makes it go like that. Um, Some of these guys have a unique moveset, like the sumo for L3 will trigger... Oh, oh my lord. I'm gonna die. Um... The sumo will trigger a stomp, and basically, some of the movesets have cool stuff like that. But, um, anyways guys, that's how you find pretty much everything. It's it's great. It's fun. Have fun with doing it. I had fun doing it, too. Um, and you guys are probably wondering, oh, what's this I found? Well, for a future video, I'll show you guys how to do it. I just wanted to show you guys, there's a few issues when, um, changing stuff, like... I already mentioned the voice, but when trying to change the model, you'll sometimes encounter color issues. Um, the color issues, I'll show you guys in a future video how to fix that, because for right now, there's no way to properly fix it without using Shea Engine. Um, so, for starters, let's head back here. We're going to change Kevin's model to one of the other Mushu models. Um, let's say... 20. I think, uh, oh lord, what's happening in the background? Okay, well, we're gonna pick KG. Um, the moveset, we're gonna pick. Yeah, I'm gonna ask Strike Ninja, number 46. I'll show you guys the cool stuff about the Strike Ninja. Then, Adventure Value will pick, uh, I don't know what to pick. I guess. 
I'm gonna pick most of Moon as a weapon just for el lulls. And I'll pick uh, 17, which I believe is Tadakatsu. So we're gonna change stuff around, see what happens. So you can make some pretty insane combinations with this. Like, regularly in the game, you never could. But you can imagine how much insane combinations you could come up with in this game. Um, a friend of mine already did quite a few unique ones, and yeah. As I told you guys, as you see right here, the color messes up. There's no way to properly fix this without doing an extra step, which... Unfortunately, I'll show you guys in another video, because I don't have time right now. So anyways, let me show you guys what I'm talking about, how there's some unique stuff to these movesets, like the sumo. That's for all three. And then you push a square, you go like that. Yeah. A full moveset, and then triangle. Hey, it's pretty awesome. Um, some of them have a weird jump bug. Like, they won't jump high enough. The, I guess the sumo is probably my favorite one to use, due to the fact that how cool of a crowd clear he is. Um, but anyways, guys, this, um... In the future video, I'll cover more stuff like how to change music, how to find the battlefield color, um, how to change stuff on the battlefield, and how to change bodyguards, which will be in parts, not all of it at once. So, thank you for watching. Sorry if the quality was kind of junk. I did my best. And I hope you enjoyed it, and have a nice day.